after the game, I told the team that um, you know the last six games, pretty much every one of them has gone by our script, meaning we were able to get out and get the lead. Uh, we were able to extend the lead at the end of the first half, and then we came on the second half and, and played good defense. And so we ended up winning the last six by about 20 each. And so not every game is going to go by our script, and it's going to require some toughness, some grit. Uh, our guys did do some winning things tonight. And as I mentioned to them in the locker room, the most important skill you can have in life is simply knowing how to win. And so tonight we made free throws down the stretch. We made enough plays. We really had a tough time stopping LIU, and their players deserve a lot of credit. Coach, is it nice to see? I mean, is it really as impressive to you as winning by 20 as you had when it's your first really test of in a close game and pulling it out because in Arlington you get within one, you're not able to get over that hump? Um, yeah, I, I guess the way to say it is in a season there are going to be different challenges. There are going to be different skills that are required to win games and tonight it was a different skill set than maybe what happened in our last game. So. It's just great to see that our guys made plays down the stretch. They made plays uh, at both ends of the court, and they did just enough to win. What was the difference between your offensive ability in the second half between the first? We did drive the ball more in the second half. So LIU did a very good job of guarding the post, fronting the post, doubling the post. Uh, we really had a tough time getting in there. So the first half was, you know, we were trying to do what we do, I meaning get the ball to Ryan Rooms. Second half, we had to make an adjustment and let our drivers attack the rim. Jerome hit a three at the end of the regulation, and then he had a chance at overtime. Did you think about fouling up by three at the end? Yeah, so great question. In general, we're not going to foul. Uh, that three at the end of regulation is my fault. So I had us in the wrong defense 100%, and I, I take all the blame and credit or whatever you want to call it for that. Uh, the one at the end of the, of the overtime was much more contested. We had a guy right there on him. And um, so that's the shot we want him taking because he was contested. The one at the end of regulation he made, he was wide open and that was on the coach. Mandel in the first half, uh, you and John, 5.6 points at both ends, 25 plus. W what changed? What, was there a message at halftime? What changed in the second half for you guys? Uh, like the coach said, uh, our mentality in the second half was to get to the basket. My, I don't think my shots was falling for me really in the first half, so I feel like I'll get to the basket more, create more plays. And John did the same. Coach, was turnovers a, me a message also? You had nine in the first half and then only four the rest of the way. Well, the crazy thing about the game, we have actually felt great, great about all of our half-court defenses in the first half. Our zone and our man was terrific, but we gave up 18 transition points in the first half. In the second half, even in the half court, we couldn't guard him. I mean, number 20, Santiel, is a terrific player, and he's not the only one. But they were driving it and attacking, and there really was very little we could do. But the reason we felt they had 18 points at half was because we did turn it over, which led to some of their transition. Amanda, what do you say to your teammates, you and John Severe being also um, some of the other teammates, what do you say to your teammates when you're down um, by not necessarily a, a, a insurmountable margin but enough of margin where you see like this is actually going to be like a, a test for you to see what your team is made of from a from a um, teammate standpoint uh you know just stick together i'm not i'm not really a person too many words so i don't say too much but um just stick together we've been in some situations like this before but i don't know if we've been able to put them out in previous years so this year is different and we got to stick together and i lead by example too so they follow me i follow them and we pull out with a good victory for both of you, when you came, you started on a 10 nothing run, was there a little letdown there, like, oh, it's going to script again? No, so it's not a letdown at all. It was give LIU, LIU Brooklyn's defense credit. So we got out to that start we like. We were up 10 nothing, and that's what we ask our do guys to do is go get the lead. But their defense really improved there after that first little spurt, and we had a tough time doing what we like to do. So it's, it's not a letdown. I know that's a common feeling. It's just about the other team playing well. Mandel, uh, sorry. You know, Ryan has talked about what's changed for him this year and what's helped him have success is that he's more confident, more aggressive, and he's taken that message from the coaching staff and Coach Newbar. Is there anything about your game this year that you feel is more improved or different that's helping the team have success? Uh, a little bit of the same. I think Coach instills confidence in all his players like over the summer and over the um, all season. is just 100% confidence with me. So I think that's a that's a bit of my um, most improved aspect. Last time Fordham won seven in a row, you were playing for LaSalle. You think about how impressive this run is? 
um, more importantly, so I don't think of it like that. Mm -hmm. um, the way I think of it is our guys are doing things that we're asking them to do, and they're learning along the way. So these are the challenges that we have to figure out, and the fact that tonight's game was so close is going to be great for us as we go into the future. I mean, this is really good where we can watch the film in here tomorrow morning, 1030. We can learn about some of the good things we did to win. We can see maybe where we could have been better, but this is what early season games are about. And when I say that, some of them are about winning by 16. But sometimes it goes to overtime, and those are the best tests. And I'll just jump off that, and the last time the program was 7-1 was in the 70s, so obviously you haven't gotten to experience this kind of success here early on. I mean, is this kind of the way you envision your senior year going, where you're continuing to have personal success, but now the wins are coming? Uh, I don't really have too much of a vision, but it's definitely exciting you know, to win seven games in a row. Some some of my career here, I won seven games total, mm -hmm. so it's, it's a lot different. So it's, it's, it's fun. Jeff, you almost wish you had, with the record, you have another big non-conference game. You have Boston College coming up, too. But you wish you had another game in there, or you just play who you have. And <laughs> um, you take it hey, we have a heck of a battle coming up Sunday, so I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but we're playing Coppin State in here on Sunday, and it's going to be a great test for our young guys, and hopefully we can find some, some winning magic that day, um, you know, there's absolutely after, you know, maybe after what these guys have been through, Ryan Rooms and Mandel, there's no looking past any opponent. We, we have a hell, hell of a battle on Sunday against Coppin.